Hi guys! Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm your favorite content creator in the world. I'm Basie Dua Cameroon, and yes, guys, I am still here with Cynthia, and ah, we are up for a hot one, hot and interesting <laughs> one right now. We're going to be talking about submission, mm -hmm. submission in marriage. When, where do you draw the line? Yep. What does it really mean? Yeah. We're, we're just going to have a freestyle discussion. So, yes, it, 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 yeah. Hi, everybody. Disclaimer, okay? <laughs> if this thing does not work with you, don't go and say that I've put in your throat like a bag. I know. If, if, you, if you don't want it, you leave it. <laughs> <laughs> if it's something that you think that, okay, okay, see so what makes sense, okay? Then go for it. But where do you draw the line? You know, submission in marriage is a godly, it's not even a question, but it's not man who decided on it. It's written in the Bible. Paul to the Ephesians, the book of Ephesians, chapter 5. It says, Submit to your own husband. Means to your own husband. husband. Meaning that before a woman is married, she has no okay duty to submit to anybody. When I'm, I'm so making a table. <laughs> Yes, I'm saying that I'm saying I'm explaining it here. He says she, well, this means that before a woman is married, I say, she has no duty to submit to anybody. Okay? But when she's married, she submits to her own husband. That that automatically gives an edge of, of uh, to the man over the woman because submission means yes, sir, I've got to him. But now when do we say yes, sir? And but sir, I don't understand. <laughs> you see, yeah, something about not submitting before marriage. A lot of girls will tell you that, oh, Cynthia, you're saying that now because you're married. Yeah. You're fine, you're, you surely submitted to your husband and then he married you. A lot of men will probably be like, if you don't show me submission, I cannot marry you. I cannot yes, marry you. Because that's be. Yeah, if you are stubborn now, it means you're going to be being stubborn. So how I, how are you supposed to balance that? All I feel right. like you can submit but not submit <laughs> have your own voice that's what i'm just trying to say do it when you feel like that if you don't feel like don't do it if the man wants to marry you he's going to marry you you don't have to mm -hmm. try to submit when you're dating somebody just because oh i really want him to marry me and all that that's what i think okay yes as i said let me let me let me bank on that last point you're not going to to submit like that because you, you think that i want to keep this man so let me submit hey, hey i forgot to submit to the day let me <laughs> submit because i want to keep this man okay yeah. it, 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 it's a lot normally when there's love it, it, it really just flows like that Naturally. but when, what this is what i'm talking about you have heard that it was said that do not give husband privileges to a to boyfriend. boyfriend that would that mean does not mean that oh um you take your it doesn't mean that you take now your the tenets of your life as a single girl and then you lay it bare in front of the guy like that no there's some reservations. The guy knows. If it's a, a guy that has sense in his head, he knows that I'm not supposed to ask this of this lady because she's not yet my wife. I had to plan my January to December with you. A kind of those mm -hmm. dicey things about you. Like, no, you're not going anywhere. Uh -huh. like, uh -huh. I have to submit to my boyfriend so that he should see that I'll be a good wife. Huh? I'm not saying that you should fly all over the place. But what I'm saying is that you owe submission to your own husband, not your boyfriend. And but I'm not my man. I know. <laughs> it's the marriage context. It is the woman's duty to submit. You see, the the, the Bible today ask the woman to love, that love your husband. We say, man, love your wife as Christ loved the church. Woman, you said submit. So the command was first given to the man. And, and somebody said, and I agree. If you love a woman, you show her love. I don't mean robotic love. Okay, so you're better than buy something. Everybody sees that I've bought I bought you something. I mean, that love that is from inside here, the right ventricle, she would submit to you. You will not even, you don't even have to remind her because I always have a problem when the man is even reminding you, you're not submitting. If you have to even say that to her, that she's not submitting, it means you're doing something wrong. And it's funny how a lot of the guys always forget about the love her part. Yes. They just concentrate on, oh, he said in the Bible, submit. What did they say first? Thank mm -hmm. you. So now in, in, in submission, you know, if you give somebody power, you need to, the, the person needs to be checked. Anything that we have in excess, if we don't, we, we do not by ourselves control it or it's controlled by an external force, we tend to abuse it. Yeah. That's why sometimes some things that are of value are restricted so that you place a value on it. Exactly. Now, coming to this submission part, it, because the Bible has now said, 
we should submit to our husbands. Some husbands tend to abuse that power that has been given to them exactly. for reasons that are more than one. First, they may feel like, okay, out of control. They may feel like, okay, I have the power now. Let me use it. That's where I should use my power, right? Yes. And as Kenna said, once he starts telling you, you are not submitting or you should submit and your husband and um, there really is a problem of maybe he's thinking that he's losing control and he needs to and this is where we talk about the insecurity that most men face when their wives are they are gaining grounds or they are having much power or they are stepping out in their yes, own right when women just start stepping up with themselves oh no she's not submitting it becomes a problem to her so a lot of times it is not a lack of submission it is just a little kind of hey she's flying hey where is she going i'm not attached to that flight her, her name my name has to be on that flight they need to give me credit for those flights but as she's flying my name is not on that flight so hey you're not submitting calm down i know and he knows very well that if i take this to the pastor or i take this to any person it will be in the frame of she's not submitting that is what i'm talking about the abuse of power the power that has been given to him to you are the head of the home we don't argue men are the head of the home the husband is the head of a home yeah but there are some times that we over we, we he expects things that are out of the, 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 the ordinary because all in the name of submission so when should we draw the line if it's becoming abusive like you wanting to be your own self you want to be to have yeah. your own space sometimes do something that makes you happy and he's like no you don't have to do it because at that time it's not submission it's wickedness yeah and you don't even love the person if you don't want them to do what makes them happy yes at that time sorry it's not a lack of submission that he's complaining about it's just a wickedness or a seed of i want to say jealousy but i don't want to say it <laughs> <laughs> okay as i said the analogy before every everything that this woman is should be attached to the fact that she's married to me if she's doing anything out of the context of our marriage in her individuality in her own largesse then she, i need to tell her that she's not submissive bring her down to the level of mrs and mommy and <laughs> so that this thing should get this thing right so let's say that if your wife really goes out in all her glory and she, she's looking so nice be like, oh you look so nice that's my wife that's exactly. my wife <laughs> there are some women who just be like oh you think i'm doing such a good job yeah like it's i don't okay. care she looks nice they don't we don't need to hear that part it's oh. draw the line if it is bringing it is it is bringing down your capacity draw the line if you're doubting if this is truly me not submitting or it is now a, a reverse abuse of power draw the line if you see that he's um he's wanting to dominate he's wanting to press you down under under your full potentials okay before you got married you you were you were your own self before you got married you were this girl that was on a vision and mission i'm not saying that so do not lose yourself in a quest or, or in, in this journey called marriage there's a lot of things that the lord wants you to achieve you're going to achieve that as a woman you're going to achieve that even with seven children you're going to achieve that even with a husband sorry so speaking for myself right for me i personally have no issue submitting like it's no issue for me but just like most women if you are abusing it i'm sorry i will not do what you want me to do a lot of men like you said they abuse the power mm -hmm. he's just like i will do this just because i i feel like i can do it because i feel like i'm the man mm -hmm. if you are doing your own role perfectly like you said you're loving your woman you're there for her it comes naturally mm -hmm. so rather than trying to put the control on her or try to oh i'm the head of the house i'm the man mm -hmm. I'm this. rather than doing all that it's preferable for you to just love her yeah love her and so men will really how they say it they belittle this like no but love your woman when you love your woman you're treating her right you're responsible enough because another thing too that makes it difficult for women to submit sometimes is an irresponsible man the man is not how can i say he's not doing his responsibility yeah. he's not doing what mm -hmm. he's supposed to do it's completely difficult for somebody to submit yeah. to you imagine that i'm the one taking care of all my bills in my house doing everything i'm married to you you're not hustling in any way and then you are so quick to come and tell me yeah if you're even having a hard time and then i'm doing everything at that point it's easy for me to submit because i'm like oh this is a hard time i'm going through a hard time mm -hmm. i'm talking about those guys that they're basically doing nothing mm -hmm. and then they are coming to tell you but i'm the man even though you are the one bringing everything to this house mm -hmm. how easy is that for you to submit to them so i feel like both sides we have to work on it like you say marriage is work we both have to sit down and 
look at it properly. You want that she should submit to you, you better be doing your own part. Don't always sit and you're con constantly thinking that no, in the Bible, I like personally, I always say any man that I'll see, and the first thing that he says is a woman has to submit. For me, it's a red flag. I just feel like it's That's a red flag. Because men that think like that, if you want to go deep in it, you see that that man, if he wants to control his wife. Traditional, wants, yes, African traditional majority, mentality. Majority of the men are like that. That's how it always is. So I'm just like, yeah, if you just, you just want, I just see you say, ah, my wife has to submit to me. My wife, I'm just like, uncle, we are red flag, a movie red flag. I don't want, and please, if you're single, you should consider looking at that because ha, you don't want to be married to some man who is abusing abusing his right like the head yep, of the house yep. he just abuse their rights. i know people who just be like oh i'm the head of the house i'm the man you have to submit to me mm -hmm. we are going we are moving to the yes. end of the world and Spontaneous. yeah it doesn't matter whether you like it or not mm -hmm. we are going to do this thing this way it doesn't matter whether you're comfortable with it or not you just have to submit so that's why i was saying you have to know where to draw the line don't just leave your husband to oh i'm the man so you have to submit and then just go ahead and you're following every single thing he's doing even when you know that what he's asking you to do is not right yes and uh, and i'll add that women are for the most part more emotionally intelligent than men they project into the future they see that okay this is how it is this is how it has to be they, they bring advices like okay stop nice no wait i'm coming they bring advices on the table like, okay i think we should do this or do that but sometimes the only reason why a man refuses is because his wife suggested it first i know and I, it's always so annoying like i could sit and be like yeah let's do this 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 he's like no i said since i go and tell him that this and this and this and this i will do it i will do it it's always so painful <laughs> so sometimes as women we have to be smart mm -hmm. how we suggest things sometimes i don't I, he feels that it's his, it's his uh, suggestion when I'm the one that knows how I'm telling yeah. it and telling it, and then he now feels like he's the one suggesting yeah. it. When in reality, yeah, credit, it's okay. no problem. When in reality, so we also have to be very intelligent. Yeah. Men yeah. don't like to feel like they are being challenged. Yes. Yes. To watch yes. It yeah. yeah. And sometimes when it, it even shows that, okay, it's clear for you, the woman, to see that. Okay, he wants to take credit for this just let him have yeah. the credit as long as the family is brought sometimes it may be a, a crucial family decision that will put your family in a better place in the next two three five years and you make a kind of huge decision or suggestion and it is thrown away because it's coming from him and then you you serve it in another way like today is cookie tomorrow is more and more save it in another way and bring it back to me and be like yes i thought that, thought that, thought that. just let him have the credits and then you stay low yeah, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> and when looking at this submission thing, they might think like, okay, he's man marginalizing me or he doesn't want me to. When you feel that way, if you can't talk to someone, talk to a level headed person who might be able to tell you that no, the way you're saying it is wrong or the way because you might be wrong in the way yeah. you're putting across the information. Men have their ego, which I would say to you, please do not stink it. A man always wants to have his shoulders high. He doesn't want it to and please preserve that ego. And I feel like that's where a lot of them have the problem that I'm telling you about submission because the way some women take to tell their husband is yes. of something, the man yes. is just like, no, 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 I yes. can't. So you have to know how yes. to attach it to yes. him that's to make him feel like, oh, I'm totally. the man. Yes, let him stay the man. If you're bringing a suggestion, you should just be like, okay, some, as I said before, if, if the credit has to go to him, even though it is your suggestion, let him have it. Don't have to come uh, uh, overshadow him in any way, even if you're bringing a suggestion, so that his ego should stay in place. Exactly. And as I said, that's probably where the, the lack of submission complaints is coming from because of the way you throw it around. Yeah. And you enter there and let everybody know you're the one who drove to the place. I know. <laughs> you enter there and let everybody know that you're the one who, who bought the car, you're the one who did A and B and C. Let his ego stay in place. In as much as we are letting you know that his ego has to stay in place, Please know where it is, is it is abuse or know where it is genuine decision. Yeah. Like my wife, genuine disagreement or so genuine guys. That's what we think about this whole submit. My life. So guys, that's basically what we think about this whole submission thing. What are your thoughts? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like um you definitely have to draw a line, or you feel like we're just advising women the wrong way? <laughs> Because really? some people feel like that. I'm advising like, the wrong way. Please leave it all. Oh, we're not forcing you. <laughs> we're, not, we're just talking about us and how we see it. Mm -hmm. So if you do not agree, please come respectfully. And yes. I say respectfully because a lot of people like to be very personal, especially when it comes to something like this. Respectfully, tell us your own opinion. If you have any other suggestions of anything you like, Cynthia and I to talk about. Cynthia is my neighbor now, so <laughs> you just 
let me know let us know in the comment section i will definitely will try to do that do not forget to go to her channel and subscribe and tell her where you're coming from thank you guys very much for watching this video and i'm going to see you later love you